Well, hello everybody, and welcome to the Serial Review, the show where I review cereal for you. Um, obviously, I am not in my kitchen at the moment. Uh, there's some construction going on outside, and it's pretty much right next to the, the kitchen. It's a bit loud. You can probably hear some of it right now, uh, so I apologize for that, but I didn't want to do this in the kitchen and uh, just have most of it be taken up by all the vehicle noises and stuff like that. So uh, I'm improvising a little bit. <laughs> It's a little bit dark in here, I'm sorry about that, but uh, it's just too bright with the curtains open over here. But anyways, we'll, uh, we'll get right to it. Uh, hopefully <laughs> you, you can all see. Uh, again, I apologize, but today I'm going to do Lucky Charms. Yep, finally getting to this one. Uh, still getting through all of the really big, popular, well-known cereals, and this is one of the ones I haven't done yet. Uh, Lucky Charms, everyone knows this one probably. It's another one of those big General Mills brands that gets a lot of advertisements uh, with their, its own mascot character. This one's uh, Lucky the Leprechaun. Uh, don't recall how long he's been around, but for quite a long time with Lucky Charms. But uh, in case you don't know uh, Lucky Charms, or if you do, I'll go over it a little bit. It's uh, the marshmallow cereal. That's what it's known to be. So you get these the normal cereal pieces i believe it's a like an oat cereal i think uh, let me see yep uh whole green oats yeah, that's the yep. oats probably i don't think it's anything else by the looks of it but it's this oat cereal with a little bit of a sugar covering on it and uh the marshmallows that's the that's the big thing about it the marshmallows are supposed to be the charms and lucky charms and there are all these different magic shapes is the idea of it uh, the shapes have changed a lot throughout the years, uh, sometimes when they do little uh, upgrades or special versions of the cereal, the, the, the marshmallow shapes will get changed to something different. But right here I just have a standard current box of Lucky Charms with no extra things added to it. So the charms, uh, I do remember this though. Here's the charms on the side. Some of these have gotten changed or added throughout the years to the standard set of the charms. This one right here, the, the comet, the shooting star, whatever you want to call it. I remember that one getting added like uh, oh, at least 10 years ago, probably a little bit more than that. But that one became a standard shape. But yeah, you got the, the moon, there's a heart, a rainbow, horseshoe, the clover, there's a balloon, I think it is. Uh, there's a unicorn, I forgot the unicorn got added to this recently as well. And then the, the shooting star. But anyways, enough of that, let's uh, get to that. There you go. And uh, I have to say, the, the ratio of the cereal pieces to the marshmallows is, is pretty good. Uh, you do get a lot of marshmallows, and that's what you want if you're getting Lucky Charms. You want those marshmallow pieces. And it's not like it's there's too much compared to the cereal. I'd say there's a, a good amount of each. Maybe a little bit more cereal pieces than the marshmallows, but that's how it should be. So here's one of the cereal pieces. And I actually really like the cereal pieces in Lucky Charms. They're 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 a little bit sticky dry because of the the coating on it, but it's not as bad as some other cereals. And they have a nice taste to it. That they're they're not too sweet when they're dry like this. And I really like the taste of the cereal itself. It's kind of like Cheerios, but a little bit different. And I think it tastes very good actually. And the marshmallows here. Let's go for one of those on their own. If you've ever had cereal marshmallows, you know what these taste like, but they're a little bit stiff compared to normal marshmallows, so they don't just get squished and broken in the box, you know, but when you bite into them, they're a bit soft. They have this nice sweet taste to them that is again, isn't too strong. Uh, the monster cereals that I've done before, those actually have like a the flavor of the cereal put into the marshmallow. So the kind of chocolate, uh, like marshmallow bits actually have a bit of a chocolate taste. These don't, they're just a general sweet marshmallow taste to them. But like I said, they're they're pretty good. They're, they're not too strong. You still get some sweetness, so they're not too weak either. Overall, it's, it's pretty solid, uh, dry, maybe a little sticky, but um, again, most people don't eat their cereal dry. I just do it to cover all the bases here, so. 
Let's put the milk in now. Uh, I remember growing up, Lucky Charms was probably one of the cereals I got more often uh, than some others. Uh, tricks is fairly common, but again, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Tricks. Frosted Flakes, haven't done that one yet, but I think I've said it before, I'm not the biggest fan of that either. I think it's a little meh. But I remember Lucky Charms being a pretty, pretty often bought cereal. So here we go, first bite with the milk. There's something about some cereals, and this is one of them, where the 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 milk you when you you get a lot of the milk flavor with it, and the nice coolness of the the milk. Uh, you get you get the cereal, and you get nice cool taste of milk. <laughs> Sorry about that. The, the the dog is walking around. He's looking outside, <laughs> uh, and you get a nice taste. Oh. Uh. <laughs> He's bumping the, the chair I put this on. So yeah, all together you get a, a very nice taste that again, just like when it's dry, it's not too sweet, but uh, not overpowering at all, but it, you get a good amount of flavor of it all together. Oh, there's a nice big one with lots of marshmallows. As the it soaks into the milk. The marshmallows do get a bit softer, and I think that really helps a lot when you eat it. It just makes it, I don't think it makes it taste better, but it just kind of adds to the experience where the marshmallows aren't crunchy exactly like when they are dry. <laughs> Again, sorry about that. <laughs> So yeah, I think this cereal is probably one of the ones that gets better as you let it sit a little bit. Not to the point of it getting soggy, I'd say, but uh, when, once it's been sitting here for about a minute or so, you really get a nice flavor as it that mixes into the milk. This The, the piece, cereal pieces still have uh, some of the, the crunch to them. The marshmallows are a bit softer. It all works very well like this. That's pretty good. I, I have to say overall, it's not the most like bam in your face sort of cereal with its flavors or anything like that. It's just the kind of standard sweet cereal uh, that's not, again, not that overpowering, but you still get a lot of nice flavor in it. You get the marshmallows. So if you're really into marshmallows, you really like cereal piece marshmallows, you're probably already a big fan of Lucky Charms. But if you don't have it that often, you should you should uh, try some every every now and again just because it's a really nice cereal to come back to. Like I'm always surprised when I get Lucky Charms because I don't get it that often anymore. And I do eat it. I just think to myself, you know, this is actually really good. <laughs> it's a lot better than I always uh, like think of it in my mind when I think of cereals off the top of my head and go, oh yeah, that one. I love really like that one. Or, oh, that one's not so bad. Lucky Charms never goes up there as like one of the the really nice good cereals i think of but it's really solid like you could do a lot better than this but you could also do a lot worse uh as you've seen on this channel like some of the ones i really don't like this is not anywhere close to that is it as good as like captain crunch for me in my opinion no but if your favorite cereal is lucky charms i think you picked a real good one That is actually still holding up very well. The cereal pieces are not really that soggy at all yet. And it's already been, what, a couple minutes? And the marshmallow pieces are holding up really well as well. They're maybe a little bit slimy on the outside. It kind of it sounds gross when I say it like that, but overall they're holding up really well. So I think the cereal is one that you could set down and then leave it for a couple of minutes and come back if you had to go do something, it'd still be fine. It w it's it's definitely fine. It'll hold up for a couple of minutes.
Yeah, that's just really solid overall. Like, if I gave scores to these cereals, I'd definitely say that this is, like, one of the most solid 7 out of 10s ever. Which, I, I know a lot of people think, oh, 7 out of 10, that can't be that good. But 7 out of 10, that's, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I gotta say. So, yeah, overall, Lucky Charms, it's, it's pretty good cereal. It's, uh... There's lots of good things to like about it. If you don't like very, very sweet cereals, the cereal is surprisingly not very sweet. The, uh, the marshmallows are actually very nice, as opposed to other cereals that might put it in as a little uh, gimmick, like a special version of the cereal that has marshmallows. This is made to have the marshmallows in it, and you can really tell because it works very well with the cereal. So yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. Uh, there's lots of things to like about it. It holds up pretty well, so overall, yeah, this is a pretty good cereal. Uh, thank you for joining me. Again, apologies for the being in the kind of dark room, the construction noises outside, and the, the dog bumping the chair constantly, but <laughs> but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a like if you did. Leave a comment if you want uh, me to try anything out, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you.